So admittedly, this is not the worst hair day I've ever had. Yeah, so that's pretty much how my hair normally looks. Welcome back to my channel. I know I normally post travel videos and nothing but travel videos, so bear with me while I do something new. This week, I just got back from my travels in Italy and had a big surprise waiting for me. There was a big box from Babyliss Ireland. So I've been using those products for years. Um, as you can see, my hair is always a bit of a mess. So when I do straighten it and when I do curl it, I use Babyliss. Um, they didn't know this, but they just contacted me and asked me if I would like some of their dual voltage products so that I could use them when I travel abroad. Of course I said yes, came home. There's a big box waiting for me. There's a hair dryer, a, a wand, and a hair straightener. Um, so I decided I would try something different but I hope you guys still like it so give me a thumbs up if you do or feel free to leave a comment if you also suffer from big hair syndrome I look like a Mufasa from the Lion King um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video okay so I'm gonna try and use all three of these products the wand the hair straightener and the hair dryer I don't normally use a hair dryer because I have very curly hair and if I blow dry my hair it goes absolutely crazy like that time Monica went I think to the Caribbean in friends um, yeah so we're gonna see how that goes this is actually my hair looking pretty good um, I did have two showers today washed my hair twice because it was in such a state after Italy um, as you can see as well it naturally dries so I washed it about maybe 15 minutes ago um, and I thought I would come up then get the stuff ready and then dry it but actually it's mostly dry already but I'll go over it a little bit with the hair dryer and then I'll take out the hair straightener a lot of hair okay let's see I think it's dry yeah so it's really important to make sure your hair is fully dry before you start um, ironing it essentially um, using the hair straightener um, otherwise it will burn your hair and it will sizzle and make lots of horrible noises so the first thing I do is make sure my hair is fully dry before I use the hair straightener Next up is the straightener. The one trick I always say that people forget is that if you really want those perfect curls, like that I have in some of my pictures, um, you need to straighten your hair first and curl it afterwards. So first you dry it, then you straighten it, and then you curl it. So there's two settings, uh, number one and number two. I have no idea what they mean, but I'm guessing number two means hotter. Um, so obviously I'm gonna put it on number two. So the red light has come on. Don't know what that means. Maybe it means that it's ready. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Now, here's the part where I do actually, actually use a hairbrush. But seeing as I'm not a beauty blogger, all I have is this uh, broken one. Um, so let's see how we get up. Ooh! Ah! Ah! Ooh, so naughty. Oh, this is not a good look. Now I would say you don't have to have your hair perfectly straight before you curl it. After all, you are curling it. Um, you're just trying to get the frizz and volume out. So just go through it a few times. Okay, so the first, or should I say the second step is finished. So first step is I dried it. Second step, I straightened it. Um, it's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect because you're about to curl it. It is already a transformation, as you can see. So the next step is to go get the curler and start the curling process. Okay, so this is the curler, the Babyliss Get Your Look uh, Smooth Vibrancy Curling Wand. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be using it. Before I curl it, I usually like to sort of um, split it up into sections. So I kind of start underneath and take a big chunk like maybe this much the side part you can just click up 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 and now it's on 210 so now just probably have to let it heat up for a few seconds i don't think this is how you're supposed to test it <laughs> but hold one piece of hair get the wand put it underneath hold it up like this but not not too close to your scalp you don't want to burn yourself um, and then you just wrap the hair around pretty easy Right to the end. Wow, super curly. So maybe you only need to leave it for about three seconds. Okay, 
Okay, a perfect curl. Good stuff. Okay. Let's do a time lapse. Okay, I think I have finally finished the look, but as you can see the curls are very small, very tight and might not be to everyone's liking. Um, a lot of people like the curls to be a little more natural and a little less Irish dancer. You can sort of run your fingers lightly through the curls um, and sort of loosen them up a little bit. Um, you can also get some hairspray. I always like to get a bit from uh, the right hand side and bring it over. I think I really like that sort of comb over look. I don't know if you can see the back. So, what do you guys think? If you guys enjoyed this video, my first ever beauty hair tutorial, um, please give me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment. And if you didn't like it, don't worry, the rest will be travel. See you later.